Today I fucked up by listening to my dick instead of my doctor. Okay it was Friday, not today, but close enough. I had a vasectomy last Tuesday, and my doctor told me to wait a week at least before masturbating slash having sex. As someone who has a high sex drive, this was a tall order, and despite the incredible bruising and pain of the first two days, I found myself absurdly horny. My wife enjoyed my pain immeasurably and teased me a lot by whipping out her boobs regularly, knowing I was powerless to do anything about it. So Friday morning, things were still a bit tender, but I had decided that the surgeon clearly didn't know anything and that the internet, which said whenever you feel up to it was a more reliable source of info. That morning while my wife was taking our daughter to school I decided to take my dick and balls for a test ride. Everything was going really well, and I'd gotten all set up at my wife's desk and was making it a really special wank, just the right video selection, lube etc, and just as I came, everything started to go wrong. Firstly, a week's worth of jizz, some weird clear liquid and a little blood from my op came gushing forth, overwhelming my poorly prepared fold of toilet paper that normally suffices, spilling everywhere, including into my wife's net fabric chair cushions. Simultaneously, my balls start to ache like hell. By the afternoon my balls had swollen up and every time I stood up it was like someone was pulling strings attached to rusty knives somewhere in my crotch, and my balls generally felt like they'd had a good kicking. This persisted for about 5 days, and now on Thursday they are just about back to normal. TL, drive, jerked off before the doctor said I should after a vasectomy, jizzed cum and blood everywhere and made my balls hurt like hell for nearly a week. Listen to your surgeon slash doctor. Edit, to answer the most common questions. My wife thought I was an idiot, but is a lovely woman and was mostly concerned for my nuts well-being. But only because she doesn't know about the chair. The chair, and my balls, are all fine now. Yes I'm gross. I know. I love Cannibal Corpse, and yes I'm aware of the song. Thank you everyone for sharing your vasectomy stories, many of which had me in stitches. No I didn't have stitches before you crack a joke about that. Fuck. That's exactly what I said. Your wife is the evil hero of this story. You have no idea. Last week my wife was more seductive than I've ever seen her. I didn't realize I'd married a sadist. And you didn't call the doctor did you? I did after a couple days. I thought I'd broken my balls. Teeth the surgery site might be infected so I should really try calling again in case I need antibiotics. My dad had a vasectomy after having me, and did the deed with my mom against doctor's recommendation. Next thing you know I have a little brother. Just because the factory stopped production doesn't mean the warehouse is empty. I had to think about a friend of mine who decided to have a, religiously motivated, circumcision at age 25 or thereabout. Couldn't piss without pain for two weeks I believe, and bent over every time he got a stiffy. Yeah that sounds worse. Today I fucked up by telling my girlfriend she sounds like Hitler in the middle of sex. Obligatory, this didn't happen today but a few days ago etc. Anyways, me and my girl were getting it on at my house when this happened. She likes to do some role play stuff which I don't mind and one of them involves me being a traveler in another country and her being a waitress or something who barely speaks any English. Tonight, I was in Germany. So everything started off fine and went really well until I started to feel myself coming to my climax. I wasn't super worried because she'd already finished but I still wanted to keep going a little longer myself. So, I started thinking of funny shit to take my mind off things a bit and hopefully distract some more untime into me. I ask her a question as dirty talk, I'll spare you the details, but she started going neen, neen, neen in response. Well naturally my mind went to Hitler, seeing as how the Nazis ruined German for everyone lol, and I ended up saying out loud by accident, Jesus, it sounds like I'm fucking Hitler. She stopped dead in her tracks for a second and then started to laugh. I panicked for a second, lost my concentration and came immediately. She thinks it's hilarious, I personally find it mortifying and embarrassing. I find the fact I can now say I orgasmed right after stating it feels like I'm fucking Hitler, equally mortifying as well. But hey, 
That's probably not even the worst thing I've said to ruin the mood during sex, just the most recent. Too long didn't read, was having some role play sexy time with my girlfriend, her pretending to be German and barely know English, she started saying neen to which I responded it feels like I'm fucking Hitler, before immediately orgasming. So, how bad did I fuck up? I'd say not too too bad personally all things considered lol. Edit, there was consequences to this, albeit not the biggest but this still makes me cringe a lot and is really embarrassing to me. And now with how popular this post is getting I'm feeling it really hard lol. That and my girlfriend has been making fun of me about it for the past few days. Oh, and something I forgot to mention too that makes it a much bigger fuck up is the fact I'm away at college and was just visiting my hometown for a few days. That'll be the last time we get to do it for well over a month. So yeah not the best way to go out. I did too, I didn't put that bit about her finishing once or twice in as a brag. That's just how she is it's like someone dialed her sensitivity up to 11. To be honest I highly doubt I'd be able to make a different girl even finish at all the mal. Oh and also the Nazis ruined German thing is just a joke I'm just taking a World War 2 history course I and edit 3 felt I should add this. Thanks to everyone who's liking this and especially giving awards, I couldn't imagine spending money just to tell a stranger you liked something they said so thanks so much to those of you that did. This is by far my most popular post slash comment slash anything and the only thing I've gotten awards on in the 4 years I've been on here. For reference my previous highest voted post was sitting at like 700 something on r slash titan folk. So yeah, this is wild. Thanks everyone. Be really funny if everything Hitler related gave you a hard on from now on. If your GF is yelling neen during sex, she's not rating your performance. Mein Kampf. So this guy busted a nut on his girlfriend while thinking about Hitler, the chosen one. But hey, that's probably not even the worst thing I've said to ruin the mood during sex. Just the most recent. And are you alright? I'm too comedic, always making jokes even at the worst times. Sex, funerals, weddings, wherever it'd be inappropriate to mess around I do. Can't help it. Today I fucked up by letting my GF buy an air freshener with my card. This literally happened 15 minutes ago. For a bit of backstory, my GF has lost her card so has been using the second one I have linked to my bank account until her new one arrives and sending me the money for what she buys. So GF has been having some issues with a bad smell in her car and decided to buy one of those odor eliminator bombs to see if it would help. Only about £12 pound so seemed like a cheap solution to the problem. She sent me the money and all seemed well. However, I've just been contacted by my bank asking me why I've been sent a payment referenced car bomb. They are withholding the money until they are satisfied with my answer. Slightly scared but been given golden ammunition to roast GF for the foreseeable. Hopefully everything will be okay and I'll get the cash eventually. Too long didn't read. GF pays me back for air freshener with a payment referenus car bomb and now my bank is questioning me. Update. After much back and forward with a lovely lass called Meenakshi, I can confirm I finally received the coveted £12 and all is right with the world. Brilliant, also, it isn't about sex, and happened today. Everything I do on my bank account is referenced computer parts and it's never changed. Same here, that's why I use the detonator with my left hand. I love the idea that you are an incredibly low budget explosives manufacturer with little concern about discretion, and some bank employee is patting themselves on the back for catching you in the act. LOL hopefully she has the receipt from the store to prove what she bought. Fortunately it was Amazon so fairly easy to prove, smiley face. Next step. Go to an airport and loudly discuss this with the GF. Or they don't need to. Even if they are not already on the do not fly lists of the world, they will definitely be on the random checklists 100% of the time. Op, just remember to leave for your travel with at least 2 hours dedicated to just putting up with your new life.